Hey there, bar is open, so let's review the Captain Morgan White Rum. Mm -hmm. Hey there, SG Alcohol Guy here, giving you honest reviews on the alcohols that I am tasting. And as mentioned, today we'll be reviewing the Captain Morgan White Rum. And depending on where you pick this up, the Captain Morgan White Rum is retailing at around 55 Singapore dollars per bottle. For that, you will get a 700 ml bottle with a beautiful label with 37.5% alcohol content. And if you've watched my earlier video on how to drink rum, you'll know that the first way to drink it is neat. So here goes. To have it neat, I mean, this is actually a tulip glass for whiskey, but I'm just going to use it for rum as well. Just a single shot. Carefully nurse this into the tulip glass. And as for all spirits, the easiest way is to start by swirling the spirits in the glass. And then you want to see how long it takes to go back to the liquid and I'm not sure if you can see it from here I'm using my hand to, to shape it but it disappeared from the sides almost immediately this tells me I'm not going to expect any finish from this spirit whatsoever also the second reason for swirling is to nose the spirit you don't have to put your nose right in you know the smell will escape and the smell is not unlike um, whiskey in the in the yeah, it's, a, it's a distilled spirit after all, so it does come across as a bit of a paint thinner, the lacquer, lacquer kind of smell. However, I want to say that this is more of a scented nail polish remover. Uh, it's like a sweetened form of nail polish remover. That's what it smells like. Taste test one. Alcohol burn all the way down. The burn is very similar to harsher vodkas. This feels like that. Taste-wise, there's a syrupy taste to it. But it's like a very unrefined syrup. Beyond that, you know, there's, there's no texture. There's nothing spectacular about this rum. In fact, it's... It gives me a feel that I have to use this in a cocktail. So the Captain Morgan White Rum by itself, not so good. But let's go for taste test 2, which is on the rocks. And we'll have a single shot on the rocks. And gently into the glass. Just let it chill for a little bit. You don't actually you know, have to let the ice melt. Now I'm using an ice ball as you can see. Um, again, you want to use crushed ice, you want to use ice cubes. There's no right or wrong answer. It's just your own personal preference. I prefer ice balls. And now that it has sufficiently chilled, it has to. Having it on the rocks, remove the alcohol burn and it's actually more pleasant it still comes across as an unrefined syrup but it's more neutral it's a little bit less harsh and you can drink it this way it still tastes like it should be part of a cocktail don't get me wrong it's it's it i don't think it's good enough to drink by itself um so my review of this Captain Morgan White Rum is to use it in a cocktail instead of having it by itself. In fact, the bottle itself recommends 30 milliliters of Captain Morgan White Rum with 120 ml of cola and a lime wedge. So even they know, not by itself. Hey there, thanks for watching. Up to this point, I just want to state that all these reviews are based on my personal taste, preferences, and opinions. They're not to be used as an industry standard. 
I do, however, want to find out what you think about this Captain Morgan white rum. How do you drink it? Drop me some comments. Let's compare some notes. If you're still here, do help me click on the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification bell because I do try to upload at least one video every week. Plus, if you know of anyone interested in watching such reviews, do help me send them the link to the video as well. And as always, happy drinking!